Do you want to work in IT or do you want to be a developer where you program different games, applications, or other types of system programs? That's what we're going to talk about in today's video. Yo, what's going on YouTube? My name is Zach Hill and this is IT Career Questions. I've built this channel for the last four and a half years to try and help you figure out the best path or the best solutions to get into the world of information technology. And in this video, we're gonna break down the difference between IT and programming. Before we get further into this video, I wanna let you guys know that this video is proudly sponsored by Cybrary.it. Whether you guys are looking to go down the information technology track or to get into programming, Cybrary has you covered with free video training. So whether you guys are looking to get some Cisco certifications or you're looking to learn more about Java or JavaScript, make sure you guys check out the link in the description below for Cybrary where you can watch their videos for absolutely free and get all the training material and information that you need to know to become an IT professional. Use the coupon code ITCQ50 to save 50% off your premium membership. So let's talk quick about IT, information technology. It's a vast meaning, it's huge. You hear it all the time and it really encompasses many, many things. Whether you work in the true IT infrastructure side of things or you work in programming, IT encompasses really everything. So whether that's cybersecurity, you're working as a network administrator, you're developing games, IT as a term, really it just encompasses all of that. So it's just such a broad term. So when you guys hear that term, just know that it could mean and it could encompass really many different areas of the world of information technology. IT at an infrastructure level is something that I'm very familiar with. That's the world that I have specialized in in the last 17 years. That's what we primarily focus on with this channel. So when you're thinking IT at an infrastructure level, you're thinking the user support, you're thinking systems and server support. Maybe you're gonna be a system administrator, network administrator, you're doing help desk. Maybe you're looking to get into cybersecurity, be like a pen tester, for instance. When you're thinking of IT at an infrastructure level, it's really handling everything outside of developing applications and programming. So it's handling your systems, your servers, your users. That's IT at an infrastructure level. And when you primarily hear of IT being used, that's often what most people are going to think of. Now, I know I did say earlier that IT does encompass all of these things, but when you start getting into this field, you're gonna hear the different way that the term IT is being used. And you're of course gonna hear the different way that positions are being used or being talked about. And then you will definitely have a greater understanding of the differences of the different roles, the different responsibilities, and how things are handled in this world. If you guys wanna learn IT at an infrastructure level, again, you wanna go down that system administration role, you wanna go down that network admin, cybersecurity, pen testing. I have a couple links in the description below for some playlists that will really give you that information. If that's the path that you're looking to take, these playlists will greatly help you down that path. Now, being a developer or a programmer, you're gonna to have to have a great understanding of programming languages. A few of the most popular programming languages would be like C++, Java, JavaScript, a PHP, Ruby, Swift. Those are some of the most common programming languages that you might hear of. And those are some that you might wanna look into so that you can maybe start learning if programming is something that you think might work for you. Things that you might do as a developer or a programmer are build web applications, computer applications, games, mobile applications or mobile games, or other computer and mobile applications or programs as well. Learning to become a programmer has quite a few different paths that you can take. You can go down the degree path, or you can go into CIS, information systems, computer science. You can take certifications. There aren't quite as many certifications in the world of programming as there are the IT side of things, but there are C++ certifications. Microsoft has a couple certifications out there that specifically uh, specialize in development and programming. Uh, there's also Oracle and Puppet certifications as well, that, which are really popular that you guys can look into with the links in the description that I've provided. There's also boot camps, which are really popular for people who are looking to get into programming. There's boot camps from Iron Hack, General Assembly, and App Academy. Those are some of the most popular ones that you might hear of. And those are great resources to learn and understand programming. Of course, you guys can check out Cybrary because they have great resources over there to understand the different programming languages as well. But the most popular thing that I wanna emphasize on this part right here, make sure you guys create a GitHub page 
or a website or both to really emphasize and highlight what it is that you are creating, developing, and make sure you guys show that off and highlight that within your resume and when you're going out for interviews for this type of things because people are gonna wanna see what it is that you've developed, what it is that you've learned. And that's really something that I wanna emphasize very heavily. Now let's really get into which is right for you, programming or IT. And that's kind of the meat of this video, right? This is what you guys really wanna know. Why is one better than the other? Which one could be best for you? So I have five questions for you that might help answer which might be the best path for you. Let's go over these real quick and then we'll talk about what path that is at the end. Do you like sitting behind a computer 99% of the day? Are you good at math? There's a certain mindset involved in this area that we're gonna talk about. So being good at math will greatly help in this field. Do you like solving complex issues? Can you see something through from start to finish? And the last question, do you like the idea of making a lot of money? Now that, of course, could go both ways, whether you're working in IT or a programmer, but if you answered yes to all five of these questions, then being a programmer, developer, that could be a great path for you. And the reason for that is you're gonna be sitting behind a computer the majority of the day, writing code, understanding the code that you are writing, compiling code, and then sometimes you're gonna be trying to figure out what's going wrong with your code. So figuring out complex issues, that's a large part of actually writing and developing different code and being a programmer is solving these complex issues on why something isn't working properly. You'll also often hear people compare being good at math to being a good programmer, and there's a reason for that. There is a specific mindset involved to being really good at math, solving math equations, because you're gonna be solving a lot of different types of equations within programming as well. So pay attention to that. If you're not good at math, then the world of IT, the infrastructure side, might be the best path for you. And then seeing something through from start to finish. Programming can be difficult. You're gonna run across complex issues. You may have to develop an application from the very ground level until it's absolutely done, finished, and published. So if you can't follow something from that very ground level till it's absolutely finished, then I don't know that programming could be a great choice for you. Now, these are five questions that I think are really a great starting point to understanding the differences between programming and IT. And I hope this kind of helps break down uh, some of these, these different questions that you may have for yourself. I've worked in the world of the IT infrastructure side for 17 years. I've enjoyed every single part of it. And the reason that I am not a programmer is because I don't enjoy it. I don't have that mindset to write code and compile code and solve those complex issues. I'm terrible at math. I hate math. I couldn't sit behind a computer 99% of the day and write code all day. That's not something that's interesting for me. But I do enjoy solving complex issues, but I enjoy working with computers in a different level. I enjoy working with servers and networking equipment and components. I enjoy working with my users one-on-one -on -one very often. That's one of my greatest enjoyments about working in IT is being able to work with users very often and being able to move around. And of course, sometimes if you're working in networking, you often have to get up, move around, and go to different switch closets or your server room and configure different switches within those rooms or switch closets and plug and play different uh, ethernet cables into different switches and figure out what's going wrong. You're tracing cables back and forth or maybe you're going out and servicing end users. And that's what IT does for me. It allows me to get up and move around, talk with people on a day-to-day -day basis. Not that you're not gonna necessarily do that with programming, but there is a very big difference between the two of them. And you will find in some organizations where these two uh, areas within IT, where you're working in the infrastructure and the programming, they do mesh. And DevOps is a very big part of the IT field. And you'll find that you, you'll often work with your programmers, uh, building virtual machines for them, helping them out with different issues on why their applications aren't working on some different computers and things like that. So there are different times where things like that mesh back and forth. And of course, with IT and the infrastructure side of things, if you really want to be a great IT professional, understanding scripting languages like Python and PowerShell and Bash, those are going to be great scripting languages for you to learn to help automate your job and to help make things move 
much, much more smooth than they ever would before. So there are aspects of the programming world that can be incorporated in IT that will greatly help your IT career. So with all that being said, make sure you guys check out the link in the description for Cyrary. You guys can watch free video courses that will train you on different programming languages, on the different areas of the IT infrastructure side of things. And if you have any other comments, questions, or concerns, make sure you guys hit me up in the comments below. I'd be happy to answer whatever it is that I can for you. I hope this video helped answer some questions for you and you can move forward on the path that you're looking to take. Please hit me up with some comments, some questions, and as always, take it easy.